The Caster Wave Hybrid is a 12-inch hybrid mattress with a medium feel, designed to be well-suited for a wide range of sleeper preferences. The price is higher than the average hybrid, but that's the case with most Caster mattresses. Does the added cost equate greater performance? Let's go ahead and find out now. Scores on the Wave Hybrid were excellent for the most part. However, there were a few areas that dragged the overall score down. Motion transfer is the category that weighed down the performance score the most, with an 8.0 out of 10. From there, cooling and off-gassing were a little behind the other categories with a 9 and 9.1 respectively. Then we saw Edge Sport, Sachs & Company all in the high 9 range, followed by response time and press relief with perfect tens. This resulted in an overall score of 9.51 out of 10. Regarding the firmness on the Caster Wave Hybrid, we rate it at a 5.5 out of 10. This is a medium feel and just a touch softer than a medium firm mattresses, which come in at a 6 out of 10. Next, we're going to talk through what the Caster Wave Hybrid does best. First, the mattress has a very fast response time. The polyfoam and latex foam on top of the mattress is a great choice to create fast responsiveness. Second, there's a great edge support for sitting. We measured only 3.25 inches of compression while seated on the absolute edge. Last, the Wave Hybrid has a high bounce, which largely contributes to the sex performance of the mattress. The bounce levels are within my ideal range of 8 to 12 inches, so it's high, but not so high as to create too much spring to your movements. However, all mattresses aren't ideal for all sleepers. Let's talk through the important consideration points for the Wave Hybrid. First and foremost, the price of this model is fairly high compared to most hybrids we've tested. This is not unusual for a big brand like Casper. Second, we found a good deal of motion being transferred through the mattress. It's enough that it may disturb sleepers when people are getting in and out of bed during the night or otherwise moving around during sleep. Finally, the cooling performance is good, but it could be better. Casper's original hybrid and snow mattresses were notably better when it came to cooling performance. Your body weight and sleeping position impact the types of mattress that are best able to support you. Our analysis is designed to help match the correct mattress to the right body types and sleeping positions. Support on the Caster Wave Hybrid is excellent. During our test, I felt well supported in all sleeping positions. I would recommend this mattress for sleepers between 150 and 300 pounds. The 5.5 firmness rating makes it a great choice for a wide range of body types and all sleeping positions. The mattress has an ample 5-inch thick comfort layer and a 7-inch support system. The Caster Wave Hybrid zoned memory foam layer, seen fourth from the top, creates more robust support in the middle of the mattress where body weights are typically heavier. While zone foam isn't as good as a zone coil unit, based on my experience testing, it's still better than no zoning at all. In addition, the Wave Hybrid includes up to 78 gel pods. These are shallow half spheres around 2 inches wide and weighing around 0.5 ounces each. Casper says they provide more support than foam alone, which is probably true. However, given their relative size, thickness, and weight, I'm not super impressed with these. These feel more like a marketing gimmick than anything else. Even so, the Wave Hybrid still creates plenty of support, and I don't foresee it being an issue for a vast majority of sleepers. Be sure to visit us over at naplab.com slash mattress dash quiz. There you can submit your needs and preferences and we'll send you back a personalized recommendation based on your inputs. Next up, we're going to move on to our individual performance tests. At NapLab, we test each mattress by analyzing according to 10 different factors that impact the feel, comfort, and performance. First up, we have our cooling test. To measure cooling, we lie on the mattress for 15 minutes, allowing it to absorb body heat. Then, we get off the mattress and take periodic measurements of the surface level temperature. Our tests show how the mattress retains and releases heat and overall cooling performance. Mattresses that breathe better, retain less heat, and sleep cooler are better as they allow sleepers to maintain a comfortable temperature. Cooling performance on the Caster Wave Hybrid is good, but far from great. In our test, I felt a slight to moderate level of heat retention around my body. The cooling performance is very similar to that of the Casper Nova Hybrid, which makes sense as they share many design and material similarities. The Wave Hybrid has a 5-inch comfort layer, which is truly exceptional for pressure relief. However, a thicker comfort layer can also create heat retention issues in some cases, and we experience that here. Despite the increase in airflow due to the hybrid design, the foams just seem to retain more heat relative to many others we've tested. 
In our objective cooling test, we measured a max surface level temp of 91.0 degrees Fahrenheit. From minute 0 to 1, the temperature was reduced by 4.8 degrees. From minute 0 to 5, that reduction was 7.2 degrees. When we look at the complete picture of subjective experience, objective data, and the material design, I'm confident in my view that the Casper Wave Hybrid has good cooling performance, but still leaves something to be desired. For the sinkage test, we lie on the mattress. In addition, we use a 12 pound medicine ball to test pressure point sinkage. Deeper sinkage can cause sleepers to feel overly enveloped by the material layers, while less sinkage can make you feel that like you're sleeping more on top of the mattress as opposed to in it. Sinkage is a preferential factor. Some prefer more, others less. In our pressure point test, we measured a sinkage depth of 2.38 inches. This is 0.18 inches deeper sinkage than the average of 2.20. The thick 5-inch comfort layer creates a dramatic contouring hug around the body. It isn't as sharp or exacting as an all-memory foam layer would be, but it does lean more in that direction compared to all latex or a more traditional coil mattress. All that said, I never felt stuck and the contour did not inhibit my ability to easily move around on the mattress. Overall, I'm pleased with the sinkage dynamic and contouring hug. To test motion transfer, we place one 12 medicine ball on one side of the mattress and drop another 12 medicine ball on the opposite side. In addition, we use an accelerometer to objectively measure the motion generated by the medicine ball drop. Lower motion transfer is better as it helps sleeping partners avoid disturbing each other during the night. The Casper Wave Hybrid has a high level of motion transfer. In our test, we measured a total acceleration range of 12.88 meters per second squared. This is 4.92 meters per second squared more motion transfer than the average of 7.96. The hybrid design, latex foam, and convoluted wave channel design in the fourth layer of foam are doing this mattress no favors when it comes to motion transfer. Much like the Casper Nova hybrid with its zone cut foam, the wave channels allow for a deeper and faster push through the foam layers while also being near the support coils. This creates a more abrupt and immediate type of pushback and therefore more motion transfer. In our motion transfer chart, which visualizes our accelerometer data, we can see high motion peaks through 0.28 seconds. Motion remains moderately high until 0.92 seconds when it returns to near zero levels. Neither the motion peaks nor motion duration paint a pretty picture for the Casper wave. To test response time, we place a 12 pound medicine ball onto the mattress. Once it's fully at rest, we then quickly remove it and objectively measure the amount of time it takes the mattress to recover and resume its original shape. A faster response time is better as quicker responding material layers better adapt to your changes in movement and prevent any type of a stuck feeling. The Casper Wave Hybrid has an extremely fast material response. In our test, we measured a mostly recovered response time of 0.2 seconds and a fully recovered response time of 0.8 seconds. Both of these are notably faster than the average response times of 0.44 and 0.89 seconds, respectively, based on all of our tests to date. The polyfoam and latex foam on top of the mattress is a great choice to create fast material response. The memory foam layers within the core are notably slower to respond by comparison. However, their presence further from the top helps to limit their impact on response. To run the balance test, we drop a 12 pound medicine ball onto the mattress. We measure the maximum depth the ball sinks to before rebounding up, as well as the maximum height it achieved on the bounce. Bounce is a preferential factor. Some prefer more, others less. However, more bounce is typically better than less bounce as it improves ease of movement, aids in response time, and improves sex performance. The Casper Wave Hybrid has a high level of bounce. In our test, we measured a total bounce height of 10.78 inches. This is 1.14 inches more bounce than the average of 9.64. The combination of hybrid design, latex foam, polyfoam, and limited memory foam are all contributing to the higher level of bounce, as is the thin cover. While the bounce is more preferential, in general, I like to see 8 to 12 inches of total bounce height. The Wave Hybrid's 10.78 inches is right in the middle, creating plenty of bounce for improved sex and ease of movement. For an assessment of edge support, I lie on and sit on the edge of the mattress to measure the level of support and compression. Less sinkage while sitting and lying directly on the edge of the mattress is better as it creates a more supportive edge for sleeping, lounging, and amorous activities. Edge support on the Caster Wave Hybrid is a bit of a mixed bag. While sitting edge support was excellent, lying edge support left something to be desired. In our sitting edge support test, we measured 3.25 inches of sitting edge sinkage. 
This is 1.02 inches less sinkage than the average of 4.27. Ideally, I like to see 4 inches of sitting edge sinkage or less. Casper easily exceeds that mark. I felt perfectly well supported even when sitting directly on the edge of the mattress. That said, lying edge support is good but far from great. During our test, I did not feel tremendously well supported when lying directly on the edge of the mattress. Lying edge support is worse on my back. While lying on my back, the portion of my back closer to the edge is notably angled downward. This is more likely a product of the medium feel thin cover and lack of a coil unit with edge support coils. While the mattress is encased in a perimeter edge support foam, which is undoubtedly improving edge support, especially while sitting, it's still not a perfect solution. Typically, edge support coils perform better than perimeter support foam alone. Our sex test uses a weighted formula to assess sex performance. Higher bounce and more supportive edges are the more important factors, with noise, pressure relief, and cooling being lesser weighted inputs. Mattresses with more bounce and better edge support perform better for sex, as do mattresses that don't make as much noise and are more comfortable to lie on. For the Casper Wave Hybrid, these individual factors generated a sex score of 9.9. .9. This is a fantastic score, and when we look at the important performance factors, we can see why. This mattress has high levels of bounce, which makes up 60% of the sex score. Edge support is also excellent, which makes up another 20%. Bounce and edge support are both extremely important for good sex performance. Overall, the Wave Hybrid is a very comfortable mattress and will improve the Dance Without Pants for most. The only possible issue is the medium feel, which creates a deeper level of push, for lack of a better word, into the mattress and will require greater exertion for some amorous activity participants. Our pressure relief test is a measure of overall pressure relief performance. We analyze materials, layers, thicknesses, density, and design elements in conjunction with a subjective assessment of our experience while lying on the mattress. Mattresses with better pressure relief are able to create a more comfortable sleeping surface. Pressure relief is exceptionally good on the Casper Wave Hybrid. During our test, I felt zero pressure point buildup anywhere on my body. The mattress did a fantastic job of creating ample pressure relief and comfort in all sleeping positions. The great pressure relief is due to the excellent material quality and material types. First and foremost, we have a thick 5 inch thick comfort layer. Typically, I want to see at least 3 inches, with 4 inches or more being ideal. With 5 inches of material, a mix of foam types, zone memory foam core, and a transitional polyfoam atop the support system, we have everything I look and hope for on a comfort layer. Overall, I'm exceedingly pleased with the pressure relief dynamic. Casper Wave Hybrid is incredibly comfortable, and I don't expect pressure relief will be an issue for most. To evaluate off-gassing, we assess the mattress following the initial unboxing, taking a subjective measure of any strong smells. We monitor the mattress over a period of days until the mattress no longer has a strong odor. Mattresses with less strong odor and or an odor that dissipates more quickly are better. Off-gassing is strong out of the box with the Cast Wave Hybrid. The smell lasted for a full 11 days before dissipating. This is 2.75 times longer than the average of 4 days based on all mattresses we've tested to date. The company's score takes a look at factors that may influence your experience with the mattress. Factors include length of the trial period, warranty, shipping and return costs, and country of origin. For Casper, these individual terms and conditions generated a company score of 9.8. Casper has a 100-night trial period and a 10-year warranty. Shipping returns are free. The 10-year warranty is shorter than the average. The average warranty length is 14 years, not considering the 28% of mattresses that have a lifetime warranty based on all of our tests to date. I would recommend the Casper Wave Hybrid for sleepers who are looking for a hybrid mattress with a thick comfort layer. At 5 inches thick, the Wave Hybrid is able to provide plenty of support and exceptional pressure relief. Mattress has a medium firmness with a slightly deeper sinkage than average. It has a high bounce and an excellent response time, which gives it a great ease of movement. Finally, the Wave has a zone support and reinforced perimeter foam, which gives it fantastic edge support. Well, guys, if this video, I hope found it helpful. Comments, questions, please drop us those notes down below. If you're interested in buying the Casper Wave, we've got a link in the description. For more from NapLab, be sure to subscribe, ring that bell, and visit over at NapLab.com. As always, thank you so much for watching. Are you good? Have you had enough? Can we get back to work? All right.